In this video, we'll talk about reproductive system in case of female frogs. Now we are talking about reproductive system separately. Reason? There is no connection between the reproductive system and the excretory system as we have discussed in case of male frog. In male frog, from the testis, the sperms actually come into a canal which is inside the kidney. So there is a connection between testis and the kidneys. Whereas in case of female frogs, there is no connection between the ovaries and the kidneys. But the ovaries are located on the kidneys. So we will have to draw those large kidneys and on those kidneys we will draw the ovaries. But before that these fat bodies which are attached at the top of these kidneys. So this is, these are the fat bodies and this is a kidney. So the ovary is also attached on this kidney. It is placed on the kidney but there is no attachment. So if we draw the ovary, ovary is a large structure and it is placed on the kidney. As testes were attached to kidneys with the help of a peritoneum called mesorchium. Here also there is a membranous attachment which is going to hold the ovary on the kidney and those membranes so here we are just showing that membrane. This membrane is known as mesovarium. So this much part is said. That means testes were attached on kidney with the help of mesorchium. Ovaries are attached on kidney with the help of mesovarium. But the difference is there is a connection between testes and kidneys. But there is no connection between ovary and kidney. So now if we are talking about the excretory part here. Though our main focus is reproduction. But we, because the location is this. We have to talk about the excretory part also. What happens is from here the two tubes are going to emerge. These two tubes they will bring the urine. And these tubes are known as the ureters. In case of male frogs, this duct was called urinogenital duct and these two ducts, they are going to open in the rectum part. So this is the common thing that they open into this rectum and the common opening that is the cloaca and this structure is the rectum. On to the rectum, we also find this large urinary bladder. So there is a large urinary bladder. So there is a separate excretory system. So we are focusing on mainly reproductive system. But excretory system. is also seen here and this part remains same that means whether it is male frog or female frog they are going to eliminate urea they are ureotelic the difference is only in this tube in case of females it is going to bring only the urine part and so we call it ureter in case of males it brings urine as well as the gamete so we call it urinogenital duct now let us come to the reproductive part. This is the ovary and here or let me draw it here. I will draw one more ovary on this side. So again a sac like structure and there is a funnel like structure which is going to receive the egg and then this egg is brought by a tube which is called the oviduct. This oviduct towards the end has a slight swelling and this opens into the rectum again. 
So one oviduct is going to open into the rectum and let us draw one more. Here there is a swelling and this is the other oviduct which is coming from this funnel like opening. The egg will be collected here and the eggs are going to come into the rectum. <coughs> so cloaca again is same. Common opening for digestive system. The rectum is a part of digestive system. Ureters that means excretory system and the oviducts that means the reproductive system. So this part is same but we have to remember that there is no connection as such, functional connection between the ovaries and the kidneys. But in case of male reproductive system, we see that kind of connection. So here there is a separate reproductive system, separate excretory system, separate openings into the rectum. And through rectum, all those things will be eliminated through the common aperture that is cloaca. So this is reproductive and excretory system. We normally talk about both the systems together because we have to show the location of the ovaries on the kidneys or in case of males, the location of testes and the connection with the kidneys. So we normally talk about these two systems together. But in case of male frogs, we call it urinogenital system. In females, we call it reproductive system separate and excretory system separately. Now in the next part, we'll talk about the process of fertilization and metamorphosis.